What's up guys, Reefer NYC back with another video. Today I want to do a quick review of the brine shrimp hatchery from Bulk Reef Supply. Uh, I want to show you what comes in the box, um, how to set it up, uh, what can you expect from the hatched brine shrimp, how to do it, how to scoop them out, uh, and pretty much some of the learnings that I've learned uh, from my first hatch uh, since I got this. So I've had this for about a week or two um, and I already have done it once with huge success. I want to show you guys how to fine tune it a bit and how I put these into my tank. Uh, so basically here's the box. You get the little hatchery station here. You get the lid. Uh, we get a scooper, a pipette, and also this little barrier right here to separate the, the shells and the live brine shrimp. So what I basically did already is put salt water into this container. So I use RODI and three tablespoons, three teaspoons of salt into the hatchery. Uh, basically what you wanna do now is put the barrier right there like so. Hopefully that is it, there we go. So that's the barrier that separates the brine shrimp shells from floating into the center of the container uh, where the brine shrimp are gonna live. So what that means is, so you see this lid right here. You can see that it only has a center hole. Basically, once the brine shrimp are alive or hatched, they swim towards the light. Um, so everything that's not in the light just floats to the top, which where there be the shells and everything, and the brine shrimp just go towards the light. So what you wanna do, once they're in there, you just scoop them out and dump them into your tank. It's as easy as that. Um, I also bought the Bulk Reef Supply brine shrimp eggs right here. So the instructions told me that three scoops uh, would work for this uh, hatchery, but uh, some of my reef pack members said one scoop is more than enough. Even like three-fourth scoop is more than enough. Uh, since I have two tanks, I'm just going to do a full scoop. Um, so it's just right now. So these are the eggs right now. These are the eggs, hopefully I can, there you go, super tiny. Um, as you can see, they're already falling in. But basically what you wanna do is spread them around evenly across um, the hatchery. You should have seen my first batch, but uh, it was filled. I put too much, I put way too much. Um, let's see, that should be all set. So those are all the eggs. And next, once the eggs are in, you don't have to mix it or anything. I'm just gonna move this out of the way. So what you want to, what you don't want to do is move it around too much once you have it all settled in, in a single place. Um, luckily, I have enough light in the living room, natural light in the living room. So what you want to do is, let's see. So this is open right now, and then you just want to close it right there. So now, right now, it's closed. So let's wait 24 hours or just check back in tomorrow and you'll see how many brine shrimp are in here. Um, honestly, I saw it in less than 24 hours, which is pretty ridiculous. But yeah, stay tuned, we'll be back and we'll see how many shrimp are hatched. What's up guys, this is day two of the brine shrimp hatchery. Less than 24 hours, as you can see. I'm trying to zoom in real quick. Look at all of those brine shrimp, it's ridiculous. They are all moving, all alive. So basically what you wanna do is, um, the ideal time to feed your fish is when the brine shrimp are orange. Once they start turning gray, that means these, they've lost all their nutrients. But still, uh, you can feed it to your tank, uh, your fish will still eat it. But ideally you wanna, Get them when they're nice and orange like this. Look at all those brine shrimp, crazy. But yeah, less than 24 hours, that's what you get. All the brine shrimp like that. But yeah, guys, if you have any comments, any questions, let me know. This is the brine shrimp hatchery that you can buy from Bulk Reef Supply. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.